falls any. The bonds between us are unbreakable. I shall stand as a shield for the innocent. Blue Boo fell back without engaging Ranmaru and the others in battle. For he would only fight when it suited his purposes. Having raised an army to conquer the land, Blue Boo was eager to begin his quest for domination. Meanwhile, the young warrior that had confronted Lu Bu, Yoshitsune Minamoto, joined forces with the Wu army. However, Yoshitsune was not alone, as the remnants of the Orochi army had followed him, led by a mysterious figure. Ranmaru and the others sensed that yet another threat was slowly approaching. Almost as if drawn by the chaos created by Lu Bu, Masamune Date, Cao Cao, and the tyrannical Dong Zhuo had also prepared forces for battle. My lord, the enemy has appeared, led by Dong Zhuo and Goimon Ishikawa. These invaders must be repelled. Are there any brave soldiers here who would volunteer for this task? Those two? Well, they're not really my type, but I think I could handle them. I cannot allow a woman to go out there alone. Ling Tong, you must accompany her. Well, if it's in order, then I'm not gonna say no. Ling Tong, you can count on us to help. Oh, you! You're back! I'm sure my old friend Goemon has an me. If I ask him nicely, I'm sure he'll tell us. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dong Zhuo. Just what are you and your little short chin? isn't good. I'm gonna have to pull out all the stops now. With Okuni around, even a big fat devil like Dong Zhuo doesn't scare me. I won't let anybody lay a finger on you. All right then, time to gather up some more charitable donations. Oh, Mr. Dong Zhuo, where are you? A sweet and delectable voice is calling for me. Where? Find her! Very well done, Xiao. Everyone, now is the time. Get Dong Zhuo. There's that enormous carcass! Take him down! Impressive! 
impressive. You remind me of Diao Chan. Come now. She can't be any more lithe and graceful than me. You're skillful, but still, no match for her charms. I knew you had no taste. Forgive me, Okuni. I didn't know what I was doing. I promise I'll never betray you again. Just don't be mad, okay? Zhou Yu, I believe you also have seen something of these lands. Following Moroji's death, I traveled south and held talks with Ming Wu. However, once I heard that Wu was under siege, I returned. It seems that Lu Bu has begun to stir as well. Finally, some excitement! But why are we still just sitting around here? My lord should consider the current situation. I believe that Wu is about to be targeted. The enemy will come, and we must prepare for the inevitable. Xiao Qiao and I will strengthen the defense. There's nothing to worry about with me around. I'll keep everyone safe. 